Taurus. It's Bunny here. We're going to do your love read for November. So remember, this is a timeless read. Whenever you find it, it's for you. Although we will be focusing on the energy of right now and November. Um, and welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting with the um, Light Seer's Tarot. Actually, I need to clean the space with my bell. One second. Okay, Taurus. Sorry about that. I had to take a potty break. What? I feel like my camera's really close to me. All right. Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Taurus. Earth sign Taurus. What's up with Taurus? Ooh. We got cards flying. Why do I feel like it's really hard to shuffle these cards? I have tiny hands, y'all. I cannot shuffle. I swear I cannot shuffle. I cannot shuffle. Okay, we're going to keep this reading short, too. <clears throat> short and sweet. And keeping them all under 20 minutes. Taurus. Got one of my kids doing something, so. All right, Taurus, what do we have for Taurus about their love connection? Woo, we have Eight of Wands. <clears throat> so there's a lot of fast-moving energy in regards to this connection. What else do they need to know about this connection with the person on their mind? Ten of Swords. That's confusing. That's suspicious. That's weird. <laughs> the fool. Whoa. Okay, there's a whole lot of confusing energy here. So... Something started out really quickly, Taurus, and then it very quickly ended. That's very strange. So, you're looking for a fresh start. And, you know, you have, I feel like with the Eight of Cups, you have let go of this energy, right? You're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There's the sun. So you're looking towards brighter days, right? And you let go of a connection. But it's very strange because, like, the energy is, like, it started out super, it was like a super fast-burning, passionate romance. And then just as quickly as it started, it fizzled out. But right now you're focused on yourself anyways. Um, <clears throat> let's figure out why this connection fizzled out. Why did this connection end so quickly? <clears throat> Can we get a clarifier? Oh, the Empress. So they thought that you were too good for them. Does that make sense? They didn't see themselves as good enough for you. Or you you were just too good for them, period. <laughs> but they saw you as this Empress energy. And they didn't feel like they were on your level. So that's why it ended, okay? Because when I asked for a clarifier, we got the Empress. Okay, <clears throat> let's get three more cards. What else does she need to know? He or she need to know about this connection. I'm just saying she because the Empress was a female. So I feel like it's for a feminine. So right now you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your work. You're focusing on... Um, perfecting your work and your person is steadily spying on you we got page of swords <clears throat> you might be um, learning something new right now too as well which is good I see you focusing on yourself Taurus that's very good let's put that there I forgot about it all right um, beware of having like <sighs> I know I know. Okay. First of all, let me, <clears throat> let me give you a big hug Taurus. Okay. Because I understand when we go through things like this, we have a tendency to get in our heads and we start to feel trapped in these thoughts of like, 
maybe if I would have done something different, maybe I'm not good enough and all of this. And you're coming up as the empress, so you are good enough. But your mind is going to try to trick you right now and tell you that you're not good enough because this connection didn't work out. And let me tell you, you are perfectly perfect the way you are. And you have death and rebirth. So this transformation is much needed, Taurus. You had to go through this lesson as gut-wrenching as it feels. And what is the outcome of this situation after the death and rebirth? Look, you're going to have more options really soon in love. Seven of Cups. You're going to have lots of options. A, a whole lot of options. Okay. So let's go on to the Romance Angels and see what they have to say. One door closes, another one's going to open up for you, Taurus. And what do we have for Taurus? Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. So if you want to attract a new love, you know, it's safe to be playful and flirty and fun. Focus on having fun, Taurus. That is your mission right now. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So see... I feel like you guys may have had a lot of red flags anyways in regards to that connection. And, you know, Taurus, you guys have such beautiful hearts. You just want to see the good in everyone. And that's okay, you know. Don't blame yourself for not seeing the red flags. You wanted to see um, the beauty in this person. And I feel like they do have really good traits. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So they weren't always completely honest with you, Taurus. Maybe they weren't upfront about how they felt. They felt like they weren't good enough for you. They should have told you that in the beginning, right? <clears throat> Passion. Allow your heart, to, heart and soul to sing with joy. So this person still has a lot of feelings for you. All right, it says passion. Um, <clears throat> you know what? I am going to pull one card to see um, how this person feels about you right now. How does this person feel about Taurus right now? How are they feeling about Taurus since the relationship ended? So they feel like they didn't have enough to give you. They felt like the energy was off. Either you were giving too much or they were giving too much. Okay. It didn't feel, they didn't feel a reciprocation of energy. So, but they still want to give to this. Okay. So what's going to be the outcome between these two? They still feel like they want to spend an eternity with you. Okay. They still have really strong feelings to, for you. What's going to be the final outcome for these two? Because see, look, there is the eternity symbol. What's going to be the final outcome for these two? But we're going to get a clarifier and see if they're going to reach out to us. What's going to be the final outcome for these two? Oh, look, they are going to come back around. We got the lovers. So they're going to come back around, Taurus. They're working on healing themselves because, like I said, they didn't feel like they were good enough for you. But they do feel like they're that you are their forever person. They want to spend eternity with you. They want to put more energy into this. And they have a lot of passion for you, like I said. I'm glad I pulled another card on that because I felt like they still have really deep feelings for you. And I was right. They're going to come back around, Taurus. Okay, what else does Taurus need to know about this beautiful connection? What else does Taurus need to know? 
We're going to do three cards from this deck. Whoa. Okay, so they might be going through a spiritual awakening. I feel like if you're here watching this, you've already went through one, but your person is just starting to um, have their their really strong spiritual awakening. They're in the thick of it right now. We have snake. So yes, that's another indication of spiritual awakening. You know, they might be going through like the Kundalini process, which is, you know, the, it's another term for a spiritual awakening. Except for, you know, Kundalini has to do with like the way our chakras flow, right? There also could be someone that's influ trying to influence your person away from you. I just got that as well. So keep that in mind, Taurus. Try to protect your connection. There it is. Reconciliation. I just said that. Didn't I say they were going to come back around? You can't make it up, Taurus. See, I'm I'm on top of it. I know I can read this energy like the back of my hand. Let's get one more card. What else can we know about this connection? Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. See, there's the breakup energy, but they're coming back around. Okay. They also maybe just went through a breakup and maybe that's why they're like be, i'm talking about before they were in a relationship with you they had a really bad breakup possibly it feels like that sort of nicked their self-esteem and that's why they don't feel good enough for you they're just going in a, on a a really dark night of the soul trying to discover um how to heal from you Right? Because in order to feel good enough for you, they have to get their self-love up. That has nothing to do with you, my beautiful Taurus. All right. What else does Taurus have to know? Look at that. But you are doing a beautiful job of alchemizing all of these emotions. Anything negative that comes your way, Taurus, you're alchemizing it and turning it into a positive. You are master alchem alchemist. It's number 25, so if you add it up, it's also number 7. You are surrounded by luck at this time. 7 is the number of luck, okay? So anything that you touch right now is going to turn to gold, Taurus. Okay, everything is working out for you. Everything is working out for your highest good. Say it with me. Everything works out for my highest good, and it does. Because anything negative that touches you, you automatically, without even trying can turn it into a positive. You alchemize any negative emotions that come towards you, any negative energy that touches you. You are on fire. You're like a permanent violet flame. It's beautiful. And you're also discovering your life's purpose. Look at that. Discovering your life purpose. Number 29. Incredible. It's number 11. Nine and two added up. It's 11. So this person very well could be your twin flame. This is why the relationship is probably so rocky. Number 11 is always my twin flame number. And if you look, there's a, a male and a female. Your person might play music as well or have something to do with music because the violin keeps standing out. This to me represents perfect harmony. If you look behind here, there's a female and it's a ghost. So this tells me that there's outside forces trying to sabotage your union, right? So make sure that you are, you know, protecting your energy. Which I feel like you already do that anyways because you alchemize any negativity that heads your way. Right? Okay. Um... What else do we have? We're going to pull an Akashic Record card for this connection, and then we're going to be done. So I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please like and subscribe. It's completely free to you. Share with all your other Taurus friends so they can enjoy my beautiful reads. And if you want to book a reading with me, just click on the description box below my video. It's got all the information. What is the last card you have for Taurus in regards to this connection, please, Spirit? 
health and healing, number 17. So um, eight is the number of cycles. Um, eight is also the number of abundance. So it feels like right now you are doing some really great healing. If you've been sick recently, Taurus, this shows me that your health is on the up and up. So some of you are really um, changing your diets. You're putting more healthy foods into your body, which is really good because if you are in a twin flame connection, the healthier you eat, the more you'll be able to have a stronger connection with your person because the clearer your channel is, the more clear you'll be able to exchange energy with your person, if that makes sense. My whole twin flame connection and the journey went into overdrive the minute that I decided to eat more raw foods and became a complete vegetarian. Like I was at this point where I was kind of a vegetarian, but kind of not. And then I was still eating fish and all this stuff. And now I'm just completely vegetarian and don't eat any meat. And so like this, my whole journeys went into overdrive. But it feels like a lot of you are instinctively doing this. Um, you're taking in more natural foods, more whole foods. And if it's not in regards to like your nutrition and how you're eating, then you're, you're, you're changing the way that you heal. You're doing conscious healing, like getting into Reiki or, you know, meditation, um, energy healing, things like that. Okay. And I, I also heard angelic healing. So very good. Um, and the way that this thing is, um, this, oh, I forgot what they're called. I'm trying to get the last message out. You're going to go through a period right now when you're healing and cleansing your system that it's going to, it's going to create a lot of abundance for you. Eight is the number of abundance. So it's going to really help you to manifest faster and things are going to come in faster. Um, this thing right here, oh my gosh, I cannot think of what it's called. Mortar and pedestal, mortar and pest, mor <laughs> mortar and pestle, right? Pedestal. Well, some of you might be, your person might be putting you on a pedestal. That's why they feel not good enough for you. But anyways, um, mortar and pestle. So this gives me the feeling too, that some of you might be dabbling into witchcraft or you could be a witch. So that'll be another indication that this reading is for you, right? Okay, so I hope something resonated. Um, that's all I got for you, Taurus. I hope this helped. So your person, that you guys might be going on a break right now, but they're going to come back around because, like I said, this feels very twin flamey. Either way, you have a very strong spiritual connection with this person and they can't shake you and you can't shake them. All right, love you, Taurus. Bye.